So I'm like, yo, I your wife, yo, and I her fucking court. You know what I'm saying? Cause you fucking talk, man. I kill our end. He's like, yeah, fuck you too, you fat mother. And then I went out and I, I'm done. And then it was like, wait. Yeah. And if Ice Cube, yeah. <laughs> if he could do that, like yeah. he's like this, but yeah. he, he, like he literally fumbled out the damn, you know, yeah. seat. And and Dr. Dre was like, oh. Shit. How did Stray Out of Compton come? Oh wow. Okay. Uh, six months before the the actual um, first starting date, mm -hmm. uh, my friend Joe Mani, she's an actress. She um, sent me a link to an Actors Access, and it looked up mm -hmm. two different um, films mm -hmm. about with Suge Knight. Mm -hmm. One was um, John Singleton's. Um, film, which mm -hmm. actually turned into um, what's his face? Uh, all eyes on all, me. Yes. Yeah. And um, he said the audition for both of those, mm -hmm. and I was like, at the time, I was just like, mm -hmm. I was getting in shape again. Mm -hmm. I could saw, I could see a six, like a four pack or two pack yeah, joint. Yeah. You know, I had little muscles, and I was like, but I didn't want to be a bad guy. Like yeah. it's like, in my mind, it's like, I want to be that positive black man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I saw, but then. I said to myself, what are you, stupid? Mm -hmm. It's an opportunity. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You take that. You build off of that. And then it was like, God, if it's possible, I'm going to do my <clears> best. <throat> mm -hmm. Just tell me. And, and show, you know, and I did. So I um, I, um, I sent my little tape in mm -hmm. and I, I found two things. Being a stunt person, if you can't be an actor, you can be the stunt double for that actor. Mm -hmm. So that was always my plan. Mm -hmm. If I can't be the that person as an actor, I'll be the stunt double. Mm -hmm. So that was my idea. So, and then I started studying Suge Knight. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything I could think of, every mm -hmm. uh, uh, interview, the way he looked, the way he reacted. Did you get his uh, tick? You know, he got a little. Oh yeah, because the disease. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I don't. Oh, it's been a while. It's been years since I. Did yeah, that, yeah. It, that was the thing. It's like when <laughs> uh -huh. I when I saw that, I would do that, and because he would walk. It was like uh -huh. he was uncomfortable with his skin, like almost like, like he had the hiccups. Yeah, yeah. He, he yep. was like, "Yep, <laughs> you know? yeah." You got a little tick. Most people don't don't realize that. No, dude, that tick. was the first thing I yeah. noticed. Yeah, and I was, and he he, it's like his he was trying to put his skin on or something. <laughs> so that's what I would do, and people was just like, "Yo," and people thought I was him. Yeah, yeah. like like when the, the auditioning process, mm -hmm. I had the red shirt. I had. Mm -hmm. uh, Ear, um, not earrings. I had rings, mm -hmm. and jewelry, sunglasses, yeah. a stogie, and that at that time I didn't know how to smoke. Oh, wow. <laughs> I never smoked before. Yeah, and I had to learn. Mm -hmm. And the first audition, it was good because mm -hmm. I walked in, you know, yeah. shook, yeah, pop, good. And and um, v Victoria Thomas is the casting director for that film. She is such a beautiful, strong, tough. She reminds me of my family. Mm -hmm. She don't take no mess. Mm -hmm. And and she was like, all right, uh, you got another uh, audition. We'll see. <laughs> no, I'm like that's yeah, how, yeah, yeah. But I fed off that because I I got. I mean, I know about people right. like that. Right. Like I, I grew up around that, yeah. so I'm used to that. So yeah. and then the more time I, I kept, it was like a three month process, mm -hmm. the audition mm -hmm. process. So, but I said I had to work. So I was getting, you know, I was still getting jobs, stunt mm -hmm. acting jobs but I was still trying to eat and gain weight. Mm -hmm. And I finally got introduced to F. Gary Gray and he said, mm -hmm. he looks up at me and says, can you eat? I said, for money, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he says, all right, you got you got to do this second one. And we'll see how it go. Mm -hmm. He started eating. I was like, all right. Now, I heard you can get paid for that, but yeah. I, it's like, look, everybody, you know how people just <clears throat> tell you and stuff yeah, yeah. and say like, yo, you should get paid for this. You yeah. should do this. Mm -hmm. I'm like, look, this is a freebie. Yeah, I, let me earn my shit first. Right, you know? right. So, and that's what I did. And then, I think two weeks before the third last interview, I was so fed up because I felt it was taking too long. Mm -hmm. I was getting really angry, like angry. Mm -hmm. And I tried to um, take a flight out of um, L.A. And every time I tried, the, fl the, the the plane got delayed and delayed and delayed. And then I see a friend of mine who was a stunt mm -hmm. actress, mm -hmm. and she just she's just coming back from somewhere. And she was just like, what's going on? I'm like, yo, I'm so angry. I'm trying to get on the freaking plane and it's freaking, you keep being delayed. And she's like, you coming home? Come on, let's go. I'm mm -hmm. like, but nah, it's like, nah, come on. I'll drive you to my crib, we can chill. And then you can go back to where you was. Cause this is the reason why you're here. Mm -hmm. So there was, you know, mm -hmm. divine, it was yeah. God. It was. Right. It, 
it, and it's like it it makes me mad because it's like he's so funny that way, guy. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, and so I finally was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna be positive, and then I got a call like the very next night to go on set to do my last audition, mm-hmm. and that last audition before that last audition, uh, F. Gary Gray told me. Think about everything you've experienced in your entire life. Mm-hmm. Every moment where you didn't feel this mm-hmm. way, you feel that way. I want you to f- be that. And we did three takes. By the third take, everybody thought I was going to hit um, um, uh, Corey, the mm-hmm. one that played Dr. Drake. Because I, yeah. I, I said, I said, Corey, this last take, you, you trust me, right? He's like, yeah. He's like, whatever you do, don't move back. Mm-hmm. Don't whatever you do, do not move back. And I said, let's ad lib. So we were just ad libbing. Mm-hmm. And there's Dr. Dre, his ex wife, mm-hmm. his Ice Cube, and some other folk. <clears throat> and they're just like, oh. right? And I, cause I could see it. Yeah. And then I'm just like, it was like the last scene of the film. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yo, I'll kill your wife, yo. Man, I'll rape her fucking corpse, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cause mm-hmm. you fucking talking, man, I'll kill her. And he's like, yeah, fuck you too, you fat motherfucker. And mm-hmm. then I went out and I, I'm done. Mm-hmm. And they was like, wait. Yeah. And if Ice Cube, yeah. <laughs> if he could do that, like yeah. he's like this, but yeah. he, he like he literally fumbled out the damn, you know, yeah. seat. And and Dr. Dre was like, oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Damn, we, they thought that shit was real. They, yes. Wow. I convinced them mm-hmm. that I was capable mm-hmm. of doing that. Mm-hmm. And I think and after that, I didn't give a fuck what happened. Yeah. I said, I I I killed that. No matter what they do, if it's politics or whatever, mm-hmm. I did that. I was my shit. Mm-hmm. And then fifteen, we I mean fifteen minutes later, I get the call. We were like, "It'd be in the movie." I'm just like, "Thank you." I'm I'm put my hands up, mm-hmm. saying the, saying the praises. Call my wife. It's like eleven o'clock in L.A., mm-hmm. so it's like uh, two o'clock in the morning there. I said, "Honey, we did it." Mm-hmm. He said, "Baby, I'm tired. Call me tomorrow. I love you." But, <laughs> but that was for, that was like for me. Yeah, it was like. I'll call you in the morning. Yeah. Then when, when yeah. then she called me like, yeah. and she was screaming. Da, 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 da. Yeah, and I was like, I did it. Yeah, I, it's like all oh, this time, all the all the no's, all everybody put me down. So yeah, like, like being the black sheep, being that person that <clears throat> the corny dude, the last person yeah. you pick for everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I made it. Yeah, I, this is the start, and then it got even better. Mm. Can I can I tell you? Yeah, I want to know. First week. Of shooting the first day, I go in the trailer. There's F. Gary Gray. Mm -hmm. He says to me, "Right now, you're not Marcus anymore. From now on, for the next couple of months, you're Suge Knight. On set, you're Suge Knight." And that, and I'm still like, I don't know what terms me, because you never took acting class. Yeah, yeah. So it was like, I want you to be method. I didn't know what that meant. Yeah. And he was like, "No, you are him. You are you're Suge. So Mm -hmm. we're gonna call you Suge. You're not gonna be called Marcus." Mm-hmm. I got instructions. Nobody will call you Marcus. Mm-hmm. And if you have an issue, if you feel like talking, talk. And if you don't feel like talking, you can tell them to fuck off. I don't care if it's my mama. Mm-hmm. I want you to just be sure. Mm-hmm. I'm home caught, standing trial. Why ain't I see you round back when I was down? Karma's on the way. What goes around comes around, karma's on the way. There's nothing you could do now, you gotta pay.